Hello and welcome back to Sonic Colors with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy A Puggy. So this will be the last two stage or oh, last two acts of um, Asteroid Coaster before we face the boss, and then well, we'll get to that in the last in the next episode, which will also be the last episode of Sonic um, Colors. So yeah, Sonic Colors is not a long game by any stretch of the imagination. Seriously, but uh, yeah. So in this stage, we will have to firstly deal with the return of the um, uh, metal bars that were in. Uh, I think now um, in Sweet Mountain, and like before, we will have to stand on a switch to move them, and then we will move along here with the Frenzy Wisp, and then we get probably one of the more annoying parts of Ultimate because. As I mentioned, with the the fact that the um, laser wisp does not aim upwards, yeah, I'm going to be screwed here, I think, um, if I'm not careful. So yeah, um, I am going to use the laser wisp. Um, I was trying to get the red ring, but never mind, let's not go for the red ring. Instead, let's propel ourselves upwards, because that does, uh, that does seem to at least try to work. Um, so yeah, and yes, I did take the damage in order to just get through the thing without standing on the switch. I didn't bother getting the thing. This this act is fairly short as well, so um, yeah, nothing too bad at all. So there we go, and with that done, we can go on and um, go to Act 6, which honestly has another annoying mechanic, which is only part of the level, thankfully, unlike with... Uh, the endless amount of um, robots we had to deal with and rival robots. That is another mode that was added into, um, uh, dare I say, into Sonic Colors Ultimate, where you race Metal Sonic throughout the various stages, so long as you get, I think, enough ride tokens or something. Not, not something worth uh, pondering about because, to be honest, Metal Sonic has become a joke in the. Well, with the exception of Sonic Mania, we was still quite badass in that game. Seriously, in in both the first and uh, second versions, so uh, um, I will give. Uh, um, dare I say? Um, I don't know who I could give it to. Um, certainly, the fan developers behind Sonic Mania that, all right with colours, where um, seemingly Sega just shoehorned him in and tried to. Admittedly, do, do it on top of a um, very good cartoon, I will admit, uh, namely uh, Rise of the Wisps. Yes, um, like with uh, both, um, like with, um, did I say, I can't even think now, so I won't even think, so instead, let's jump off here and completely miss. Yeah, I don't know why, but I keep jumping off at the wrong time. Um, uh, like with um, the grind rails, you can can jump between uh, cars, it's just that they go careening off into space. This is not what I was talking about, by the way, um, about the problem with Act 6 of the uh, Asteroid Coaster. Oh no, uh, that's coming up quite a bit later into the towards the end of the level. So yeah, so I want to jump here through the rainbow rings. And then, um, again, homey attack the asteroids and get into this one. And, uh, yeah, this is where things get annoying because uh, we have to stay in this uh, coaster in order to go through the rainbow rings and finally get up to the uh, other end of the stage where we're free-falling here. So, yeah. I believe there's a red ring here. But, um, yeah, I don't know. And then... Um, well, we'll get some water segments with the Frenzy Wisp. Yes, we will. And, it, and that's actually the good part of the level, if you ask me. Seriously, because of the Frenzy Wisp. There's also over here a red ring, if you want to get it. Just be wary of the both the spikes and the um, fans there. Again, I died there. Apparently, there was some... Uh, you can't really see it unless you really pause the video. But there are actually some spikes on the bottom um, area. So yeah, and keep in mind in uh, uh, Ultimate, 
Uh, there were some uh, things there, so yeah. So I either died there or... Let's see. Oh no, sandworms! Sandworms, yeah. Which is weird because this is not like it's a desert level like Sandopolis or anything like that. Uh, no. So, um, I don't know why they put sandworms in this level. At least in... Uh, actually, they also put them in Planet Wisp. Certainly... Yeah, they did put them in Planet Wisp, so... Um, that's weird. But I'm guessing because they look similar to Caterkillers. Which, for me, like the Mojo books, are quite iconic bad nicks. Um, seriously, so... Also, those are choppers. Seriously, those are choppers. And they are very annoying in this one because they actually behave like piranhas. Well, in cartoons, anyway. And then more uh, skydiving into this area with the Frenzy Wisp once again. This time we are surrounded by uh, sandworms firing at us, which is not great, to be honest. Um, and because of the... <laughs> given how the Frenzy Wisp behaves here, um, it, it can go... Um, quite off... I can't say... Yeah, off kilter would probably be the best word for it. And trying to backtrack in 3D in this game is not great, seriously. Uh, many of the um, meta-era, even the meta-era Sonic games, are not built for backtracking, seriously. With, um, I know I'm because that leash was not of the meta-era. Yeah, I'd say of the four kids era, probably one of the better games of the four kids era. Uh, seriously. But, um, that being said, over here we have more plunging and um, easy red ring to miss there, seriously. And over here comes, I think, probably the most annoying part of Act 6, uh, as we are sucked into a gravity warp with this giant um, uh, sphere or something that we have to hit, I think, about three or four times. So, yeah. It is guarded by a few shields. And honestly, timing is everything here. Seriously, it is. It doesn't look that hard, but it can be, especially since the gravitational field grows bigger and bigger, and uh, the more times you take damage, uh, the more times you hit it, sorry, uh, the worse it gets, and the further out you get with Sonic. So yeah, not great, is it? I think I died a fair few times of this thing. Okay, then we're back. Even try boosting over the top of this thing, seriously. Eventually it explodes and uh, pretty much crashes into the ground, uh, allowing us to uh, continue through here. And would you believe it, that whole gravity segment is toward the end of the level, right before the goal ring. Seriously, the amount of times I've rage quit on there, humorous. I mean, yeah, sure, a lot of the um, Meta Era Sonic games are easier than something like Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2, but that bit really pisses me off. Anyway, time to face the boss then. For the boss, well, it's kind of similar to the um, uh, um, Aquarium Park boss. Uh, the difference is um, when you attack it a fair few times. Because, uh, firstly, um, uh, the wisp you get is different. Seriously. In the first one, you got the laser wisp. In this one, I believe you get the rocket wisp. So, yeah. Let's see if I'm right here. Uh, from memory. Yep, we do get the Rocket Wisp. And the thing with the Rocket Wisp in Sonic Colors, you can only use it in 2D! So yeah, um, other than that, the first phase has you pretty much um, uh, mashing the homing attack ad nauseum. 
And then it disappears into a black hole, only to um, send out a bunch of these, uh, there is the asteroids right out of the black hole. And then it will start shooting its guns at you. Which point, if you do have a rocket wisp, you can actually do quite a bit of damage to the, the ship there. And its orbot heads go crazy. Seriously. Seriously, the heads look like freaking Orbot. One of the, one of the two uh, lackeys introduced in this game, the other one being Qbot, who has a voice box problem. Seriously. And I actually like Orbot and Qbot, actually. True, I don't like them as much as Scratching Grounder, but uh, what can you do? Uh, but that being said, yes, I do want to get the. Um, um, Thing there and then back to 2D again. There are also some parts where um, I don't know if I did it, if I did it in this one because this is my best run on the boss, by the way. Um, sometimes in 3D, um, the asteroids will come at you and you have to avoid them, and that isn't easy either, seriously. Um, but after that, the whole thing starts to explode, spitting out a load of rings as all the bosses have done thus far in Sonic Colors. So, yeah, boss defeated. So, I'm gonna guess the Wisps are now safe. Well, about that, I think we will get something in the next episode that may change that. That was almost difficult. Sonic, you did it! Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Thanks. Hey, we both deserve some kind of reward. Yeah. Let's go to an amusement park or something. All right, but uh, one that's, you know, less evil than this one. <laughs> so, are all the aliens getting free? Looks like it. Once the power went off, the locks vanished. I hope Yakker's okay. I think you'll be fine. You don't think the weapon you were shot with still works? Not without power flowing to it. I think we're all good. That's what I like to hear. destroyed but we can blow this joint and head home we did it dude we i don't remember you fighting off any insane robots true well good job to you on inventing a translator that allowed us to speak to the aliens and figure out exactly what we needed to do so we weren't running around the park looking like idiots <laughs> oh no wait that was me hmm. good point either way we can get out of this crazy place and go home Oh. It looks like the aliens are happy to be going home, too. Uh, I think we're in the middle of a party. The middle? We are the party. I think we're their guests of honor. Totally. Ho, ho, ho! That fool Sonic thinks he's won because he destroyed all my generators. Well, the mind control cannon is full enough for what it has to do. I will have the last laugh! The last laugh? How is laughing last special? Isn't that like being the slowest one to get the joke? Yeah, I laugh last all the time! People look at me like I'm an idiot, forget about it! That's because you are an idiot! Eh... Uh, hmm... <clears throat> you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you! There's nobody else here, so I must be talking to you! Why haven't we fixed your voice chip yet? Yo, quit busting my batteries over here! I've been working on it all day! What does that even mean? Oh, never mind! In a few seconds, it won't matter anyway, since the world will have only one thing on its mind! What's that, boss? <laughs> Me!
This can't be happening! It's backfiring! Impossible! How? Ta da! Yo, what do you mean impossible? Your plans have been crushed by Sonic for like. Uh, ever. He stopped you like it's his job or something. In fact, I can't remember a plan he didn't stop. What are you talking about? He hasn't stopped all of them. Name one. Um. Wait the attention, pal. Thank you, buddy! Hey, my voice! It's back! All right! Ah, there's the sweet sound my auditory processors know and love. Now I remember why we changed his voice chip. <laughs> no matter! I may have suffered a setback, but this thing's far from over! I will crush Sonic! Can I get an A for effort? That's for sure! 